Good morning, folks. How about some straight dope on microscopic ball bearings? What are they? What do they do? Well, every drop of Echo 2.5 has these 30 micron wide, tiny, slippery spheres in them. They're non-metallic, they're very durable and slick, and when they are inside the action of your weapon, along with our lubricating oils, they act like microscopic ball bearings. They get in between the friction surfaces of your weapon, isolate those surfaces from each other, and provide you with incredible friction reduction, wear reduction, and reliability in all weapons platforms. So that sounds pretty impressive, and the performance really is impressive. I have a great example to show you from some of our testing that we filmed. Let's have a look at it. During range testing, I had a case head separation. That means the case breaks in half, uh, the rear half of it is ejected, and the, the front half, the broken shell, is stuck in the chamber. You can see that happen right here. There's your half case. And the rest of it is stuck in the chamber. Now it has a, a live round loaded into the back of it. So there's a live round and a broken shell stuck together in there. Normally you're going to the armorer to clear this thing, but watch how it pops out. That's because of the incredible anti-seize properties um, that come with using Echo 2.5 and our unique ingredients. And you won't get that anywhere else. Um, just a quick example of the awesome reliability and uh, reducing the rate and severity of malfunctions. Now, am I claiming that Echo 2.5 is going to cure every case head separation the way it did in that video? No, I'm not. Uh, what I'm attempting to do through highlighting this example is to demonstrate the pattern of increased reliability that we found over the past year of testing in many different weapons platforms. Echo 2.5 is an incredible lubricant, especially for reciprocating planar surfaces. That's due to the ball bearings that give you contact surface isolation and the gels that keep the lubricating oils and the ball bearings in place over time. Um, and, and so when you have that, you're going to have better operation, smoother operation, increased reliability. All those things are a function of better, more effective lubrication. So another thing that uh, I'd like to address is the idea that using these ingredients is going to cause some strange uh, behavior. Maybe there's some concern about um, using a gel or a microscopic ball bearing um, in a mechanical system. Um, no, uh, it won't, and let me show you why. So let's have a look at this dirty AR for a minute. Um, you'll see in there little gold flecks. Um, those are pieces of copper and brass that are sheared off of the rounds during normal feeding and ejection. Um, up in the upper left hand part of the receiver in this shot, you'll see a little gold ring. That's a big piece of brass um, that was sheared off like it was uh, made in a lathe or something. Um, so the point here is that these weapons are designed to operate with these foreign objects and contamination and, and dirt and grime and sand and metal and carbon fouling all in there. Uh, and, and they're designed to work that way. So if you're talking about adding 30 micron size super slippery ball bearings to that mix, you're only improving the picture. Uh, and in fact, if you, isolate, you use those bearings to isolate the surfaces, say, uh, between your um, upper receiver and your bolt carrier, you're, you're putting that thing on ball bearings and that's the way it's going to run. It's going to run reliably, it's going to run smoothly, now, even, it, even when it's contaminated and dirty. Uh, any lubricant can make a very clean gun run well. It takes a special one to make a very dirty gun run well. And that's what we've done here with Echo 2.5. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please visit our website. For more information, you can order products there or you can reach out to us. Thanks for watching.